it's me, host Super Sorrel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! It's Marvel's Toy Box Captain America from the Disney Infinity series. I am really excited to have this in hand. It has been a long time coming. I've been waiting for it. As you saw in the last haul, it came with the last bunch of packages. Disney Store got this online, but I've yet to have it in stores, which is a big shame. But it looks amazing, and I can't wait to break into him. So we have Captain America. It says the Disney Store is proud to introduce the Marvel Toy Box range of action figures, bringing adventures to life with characters from across the Walt Disney Company. Now, guys, if you haven't seen already, you can also see my reviews on the Black Widow and Black Panther also on the channel. I've also done the previous waves, which included Hulk, Thor. Um, who else did we have? Yeah, Hulk and Thor were the first two from Marvel. Then, obviously, there's Woody and Buzz and Rey and Kylo Ren as well from the Star Wars series. Darth Vader is next, we believe, along with Boba Fett and some others. Um, I've still got to unbox the Stormtrooper, Iron Man, Jesse and Spider-Man. So if you're interested in seeing them guys, make sure you let me know in the comments below. Without further ado, these are just £10, so let me break into the figure. The last couple of these have been really good and detailed, so I'm hoping this follows suit. As you can see, all the artist renderings are based on the Infinity figures that came out as a part of Disney Infinity. Awesome video game. I'm so upset when they got rid of it. As you can see from the uh, Wave 2 bundle here, you can see that we do have an artist rendering for Vader and Boba Fett now. Along with ooh, where is it? Luke Skywalker. And on the back here, there's one more to go in the Marvel range this time round, and that is definitely Star-Lord. We also have the Incredibles that are definitely coming real soon because of Incredibles 2. And then, as you know, we've already announced that we've got Darth Vader and Luke on the way probably next, along with Boba Fett, and that's definitely Princess Leia. Let's break into the figure, though, guys, without leaving it too long and without further ado. Guys, let us know in the comments how you've been feeling about the two videos a day. Um, I'm feeling two videos a day is better. You guys seem to be watching them. Uh, my watch time's gone up, obviously, because I'm producing two videos a day, which is helping with the YouTube apocalypse. So two videos a day is probably how we're going to stay for a little while, given the amount of content I've still got to produce. If you've been watching some of my recent videos, you know that I've got a lot of content in the wings waiting to be reviewed. Uh, okay. What is going on here? Uh, what? They wrapped that around? They wrapped it around the shield? Are they crazy? And Captain America is finally free of his packaging binds. Just double checking him over, and yep, yeah, he is pretty good. He's very thick. <laughs> his arms seem a little bit cartoony big, though. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this. Oh, ow. His hands are slipped. Pop that package on the floor there. So here is Captain America for the first time out of the packaging, guys. And you see what I mean about his arms being freakishly a little bit too cartoony? Is that too much? That feels too much to me. What, what do you think? Do you think that's too big? It's like, it's like, um... It's like Black Widow and the ridiculous cast that they gave her. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check that video out. That is hilariously funny. Um... But yeah, it's decent looking articulation wise. So just to give you a um, thing, he's got more articulation than the others actually. So the head is on a ball joint, you can let him make him look up and all the way down. So you can make him quite patriotic, maybe. It's a shame he can't get a hand to go over his chest. Um, but his head is on a ball joint there, so you can get that in a multitude of directions. The arms do lift up. This is a separate piece here that just flicks up so it doesn't get in the way of his articulation. And obviously rotates around the single hinged elbow there that only goes so far because of his ginormous muscles muscles from Bruscos <laughs> and the hand on this one actually rotates and pivots as well so that's pretty good and the legs do lift out pretty far there is actually a break at the waist as well 
Uh, let's see, the legs do go out. Uh, single hinged knee, the foot also has a crazy rocker ankle pivot and bend. So that has some good articulation there. This is more articulated. Oh, and there's a top swivel at the top of the leg as well, near the knee. Wow. A lot of articulation for this figure. This one's got the most articulation. Now, his shield as well, guys, as you can see, very nicely detailed. Does come with the same thing that the ones for the uh, Marvel Legends series. And the uh, 3.75 basics have got. Um, although my shield does come with a chip at the top. Which definitely feels rough, so that is a defect in the part in the product, which is a shame. But it's barely recognisable, unless you tilt it forward. Uh, sorry, I was talking about this. So the hand, the arm does lift through to here to make him hold it, or he does have a nub here, which can be used to port it to the back of Captain America himself to carry it on his back, like in the films and in the comics. So that's a pretty cool accessory as well. I'm glad they thought of that. Some of the other characters have the hole in the back as well, so you can actually make them display it, because obviously the thing about Disney Infinity was that you could share accessories amongst characters, so you can with these as well. Guys, I'm, gonna, I'm now going to go to the desk cam and give you guys a proper close look up at Captain America. We'll compare him to some of the other figures in the range as well. So let's go to the desk cam. Okay guys, so here is Captain America out of the box for the first time, looking pretty sick. Loving this figure. Like I said, the only thing I'm not too fond of is the arms, but pretty sure I'll get used to that. This figure range is very um, cartoony, so it does suit. It does look right. It just feels a little bit too big for me, but that's just one guy's opinion. So here is Captain America. The face sculpt is pretty nice, based on... Um, I think this is based on the Winter Soldier cap, given the, sh given the arm bands there with the old A symbol on there, that's an older A, I believe, with that star in the middle with the big silver as well, I'm pretty sure that's based on the first Captain America outfit from the movies. Um, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong about that though, because some people are a little bit up on, a bit more, more, oh, a bit more up on this than me, couldn't speak. But uh, yeah, tiny tiny waist on these figures, but the, like I said, they are meant to be a little bit more cartoony. I'm liking the shield though, it's pretty well done, very nice paint app, like I said, it's just a shame that mine has the weird chip in it. Let me know if others have that issue. Could because mine was delivered and the box was a bit... Well, it's a big box, actually, so it shouldn't have done. But hey. But cap looks pretty nice, guys. What do you think of the figure? I will display him with the um, shield on his arm. Just to give you guys a little bit more of an idea as to how he looks. But to give you guys a bit more um, of how he is, this is comparing him to the Black Widow. So as you can see, by comparison, he is quite large. Uh, but that's probably right. I mean, she's not going to be as big as Cap. He's a super soldier. Likewise, he's not as agile as the Panther, so he is a little bit shorter than the Panther. Although the Panther does like to stand in uh, a more wider stance position that makes him appear smaller. But he's about the same height, actually, but his chest is not as barreled as Black Panther. But he does have larger arms than Black Panther, as you can see. So that's the differences in those figures. Sorry, Superstar Junior shouting in the background. But we can compare him actually to someone more like the Thor figure. The Thor figure is a lot more in keeping with the Cap figure, a lot more muscly, but not as big as the Thor. So I do think they do scale these characters perfectly and do do a very good job at scaling them. What do you guys think? How do you think this series is looking now? We've got almost quite a few of the Avengers now, including the Iron Man, which I've still got to unbox, but it's getting there. We're getting a lot of these figures now. But guys, let, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear back from you and what you think of this range. I'm a big fan of the Toy Box range. What about you? Let us know in the comments. Just in case anybody was wondering, no, these figures don't fit with any other figure, really. You can't really pose them up as it, the basic figures and the Marvel Legends make them look like tiny, tiny, tiny children. <laughs> So this is the basic inch, which are only five. So Cap's about four and three quarter inch. Because these are bang on five inch. And if we pose him next to the Captain America from the Infinity War series. As you can see there, he's even shorter and Cap can lean on him like so. Cap selfies. What are your thoughts though, guys? Do you like this figure range? Let us know in the comments. I'm really liking these figures. I'm really enjoying every pickup I've had recently. 
And I hope you guys can see that in the video as I'm enjoying myself a little bit too much with these toys. <laughs> Let's go back to the main cam and finish this video off, guys. So, guys, what are your thoughts on this guy? Let us know in the comments down below. Like I said, I'd love to hear back from you. This is the Captain America from the Infinity series, and he's pretty cool. Um, really not not disappointed in this one at all, and I'm really excited they're bringing Darth Vader and many other favourites to this range, and it's not just a one-hit wonder. They're going to keep it going, so they must be selling well. But what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button. It really supports us, it really helps us out, and helps me keep making awesome videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and until next time, may the Force be with you. Bye!